All right, so I had a um, I had a video I was making, but I decided to end up um, deleting it because the video didn't even make sense. But I'm gonna just go ahead and talk about people being, you know, people accepting average. You know what I mean? People accepting being average, people being okay with being mediocre. I see a lot of content, you know, where guys are like, you know, nothing's wrong with being average. And everyone always wants you to go, you do, you know, say F nine to five or what's the word I'm looking for? Um, start your own business and all that. And you don't have to do all that. And he's right. You don't have to do all that. You know, people are doing absolutely too much, you know, for nothing. And people are, you know what I'm saying? not doing not doing the right things not getting their lives together or just being okay with what they got and you know i don't think anything's wrong with being average either a little bit because you know it's like what kind of average are we talking about you know what i'm saying what kind of average are we talking about are we talking about average in the sense that i got me a good job you know i got a car loan got me an apartment got a girlfriend a wife kids everything's cool are we talking that average or are we talking average as in you following people you know what i'm saying you being a follower not a leader you just going with the flow you know going with the wind so the wind kick can carry you off to anywhere or wherever you want to be at you know what i'm saying that kind of average you know and for me personally i don't like either of the two averages man i, I don't like i do not like either of them if anything, screw both of them. F both of those kind of averages. It can't be me, you know. And I see a lot of people on YouTube, and I, and I saw this one comment. I was like, screw being average, man. Napoleon Bonaparte, who's just had the movie come out, he was he was poor. He was poor. His dad had a job that was not certain as a lawyer, I think. He was poor. He was born into nobility. You know, he was from Italy. You know, he's Italian. He was poor and he worked himself up from, you know, a soldier to an officer to a commander to a general and until one day becoming the emperor of France, which could have which could have became a new French dynasty under a newly restored Roman Empire. You know what I'm saying? It's just that the, it's just that <laughs> European powers can't do that nowadays because, you know, they'll start a coalition then let you uh, rule everything. You can look at Nazi Germany. You can look at the uh, British. You can look at all of that, you know. But one guy was like, you're in for a rude awakening. You know, I got to look for that comment. You know, I'm going to post it as a thumbnail. But I'm just like, why are you okay? And why are you telling me that I'm in for a rude awakening? You're in for a rude awakening if you're going to accept the kind of life you have. I've seen poor guys, you know, not in real time, but I've seen poor guys, you know, start from the lowest of the lows. You can even go back to slavery, you know, start off low and work themselves high. Frederick Douglass, you get what I'm saying? Was he a slave? I don't know. But you get what I'm saying. And I just can't fathom or handle the fact that people are so okay with being losers. I just can't fathom it. And maybe, maybe I'm just cut different or built different because me, I think about excellence. I think about how, the, how, how ambition can lead you if you focus, right? See me, I'm not like Scarface. Well, only, only, only way I'm similar to Scarface is this: grew up dirt poor. You know what I'm saying? Worked lousy jobs. Um, highs of the highs and lows of the lows. All, my difference is. I ain't about to go out here killing and murdering. I'm not about to get hooked on cocaine and selling drugs. I'm not about to be, and I'm not going to be dealing with all that. But I want it all. You get what I'm saying? I want a fantastic life, a rich life, driving fast cars, driving huge trucks, living in mansions, getting being on vacation. You know, going to a restaurant, going to a Salt Bay restaurant, and treating a stupidly expensive meal like it's a, like I'm. I'm paying McDonald prices with, with all the money I got. That's the kind of life I want to live, you know? And if you don't want to be like that, cool, fine. You can, it's, it's all right. You can do your thing. You can pay the mortgage on your house. You know, you can pay the, you know, 800 or $900 a rent a month. You know, you can pay your car note if, and all that good stuff. You can walk, but you can ride a, a, a bike. You can do all that. 
But me, I wish to attain the, the, the highest feats, the greatest feats. You know, this upcoming year, I'm possibly going to be moving to South Dakota. Um, I just, look, tomorrow I got orientation for this job that I'm about to start working at. It's seasonal, but they'll more than likely hire me on full time because when I get in there, I'm not playing. <laughs> when I get in there, I am not playing any games at all. I'm not. When I get when I get in there, I'm going balls to the walls. I'm I'm going all the way in. I'm putting everything into that job. 5 a.m. or 9 a.m. I don't know. I don't care. But when I get there. I'm pulling all my hard work into that job. Um, and then I'm getting a second job for the afternoon or night. You know, this job right here is going to be 30 to 35 hours probably, or, or just a part-time of 30 hours. And then um, I got this dude about to walk towards me and start talking. And honestly, I don't feel like talking to this guy. I got a message to say. But anyways, you know what I'm saying? These guys are going to be... Um, what was I just saying? Damn. Yeah, these guys are going to have me work like 27 to 30, probably 30 hours, I think. And they're probably going to ask me to stay longer because of all the damn hard work I'm going to be putting in. You know, making 15 an hour. You know, there's there's Whole Foods that's hiring too. You know, I'm, I'm about to do what Kevin Samuel said and work 60 to 70 hours a week. You know what I mean? I got to get this money, bro. I cannot be playing games or wasting time. I'm 23 years old. You know, and while, yes, I will be adventurous, I still cannot be playing around, man. Most guys, most guys just flow with the wind. Like I said, you just flow with the wind. The wind is probably going to put, it's going to more than likely put you on a collision course with something bad. It's not going to be good at all. So you floating with the wind is not ideal at all. It's just not. It's not a good plan. It's not, it's not at all. So. That being said, I'm going to be working this job part time. I'm more than likely going to start working next week. Um, I had to call in because the lady who called me wasn't at work. So, you know, I'm going to be working these hours, these 30 hours. And then I'm going to try to look for a job where I can get paid, where I can work full time in the afternoon, like seven to eight hours or another part time job. So instead of the normal 40 hour week, I'll be working 60 to 80 hours. Because I'm trying to get it, man. I'm trying to get my CDL so I can take my life to the next step. And so I can take my, my family, so I can make sure my family is taken care of too. I don't got any sons or daughters or anything like that. But I got brothers and sisters who are children, you know. I got I got five siblings, you know what I mean? Eight, 11, 12, and 13. Two of them are 11. And I got a mom too. And she and she's got to go to the doctor to see if she has cancer or not, you know. And it's not like where I can just be like, fuck it, and just do whatever I want to do. That's not the kind of life I was born into. I was born into a life where you have to you have to take care of your people. You know what I'm saying? And even if it is a burden, it's one you're willing to take because you love your family. And that's how I am too. You know, I could just say fuck it. You know, work store all the money I got into a savings and not tell my family and just leave their ass and go wherever the hell I want to because I'm 23 and young. But I would never do that. <laughs> I just, I would never do that. I'm not a coward. You know how a lot of, a lot of men just leave their children and their, and their wives or girlfriends or women? I'm not a coward like that. I would never do that. Never, ever. So, you know, that being said, you know, I'm, I got to get this CDL, man. And I got some obstacles that I'm about to really drop kick. I got some obstacles that I am about to knock the F out. You know, I got a, I got a, a $600 court ticket. I got to get out of the way. That's pretty much stopping my driver's license. Then I got a $300, $300 fee to get my driver's license restored. And why the hell would I be working one job and goofing off for the full day when I know that life is about to get sweeter. You know what I'm saying? Why would I sacrifice um, nothing to try to get everything? You get what I'm saying? I want it all. So if I want it all, I got to do it all. You know what I mean? I can go to college and get me a degree. I can do that, but I, that's not a, a want of mine or anything like that. It's not something I want to do. You know, I can get a, a college degree. 
but that's just not me. You know, me personally, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go to go to CDL school, trucking school, and stuff like that. About to go eat? What? <laughs> yeah, make sure you drink enough water. Oh, okay. But yeah, man. Um, yeah, you know, I'm just saying is that, you know, I got it. I, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it. I hope y'all are trying to get it too, whether you black, white, native or like my friend he's brazilian and french i don't know how the hell that came to be but i'm trying to get it i got a friend that's about to go he's about to take his test monday he's about to pass the test even if he fails it he can still take it again whatever but you know he's about to go get a cdl and go change his life rapidly you get what i'm saying eight hundred dollars a week or more people say oh that's not enough money what are you making you get what i'm saying what are you getting? Are you getting eight hundred dollars bi-weekly? You know what I'm saying? You putting all that work in only to get that? And I'm not shitting on it because that used to be like that too. But is that what you're doing? Is that how you're making your money? You know what I'm saying? That's nothing. That is nothing. So, you know, I'm I'm planning on getting it from a different planet. I'm about to I'm getting this job. I gotta apply I gotta find a second job. I don't care if it's a shit job. As long as the job gets me money, I'm good. You know, plus I'm about to move to South Dakota. My friend is like, we can do, you can move at the end of March. But I'm trying to get enough money to where it's like, okay, I'm good. I'm going there. I'm set up, you know. The rent ain't that much. You know, it's cheap as hell where he's at. Because if you spend in 840 or 945 for a two bedroom apartment, you just lucked up. So I'm about to take the, I guess the smaller room that he's gotten. And I'm about to make it, I'm about to make it shake, man. I gotta, I gotta make sure I have some money. Before I go out there, I would like to have, I would like to have $2,000 saved up before I head out there. 2K. So when I get there and get a job out there, you know, I, I, I rather, I'm, I, I would like to have my CDL before I move out there. So right now, November, I got like the four months, December, January, February, March, April, well, four to five months, you know? So I like to have a CDL before I go out there because what I can do is I can give me a local job or I can give me a job where I'm, all, I'm over the road, but, but I got a base, which is the apartment, thanks to my friend who's cool with me going out there. Hopefully nothing changes, but you know. But yeah, man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to win. I'm trying to level up. I'm trying to get it. I'm not trying to to fade away or be like in, like these other guys who are are living with their parents, not doing shit. Because it's one thing to live with your parents and have a plan and execute it. It's another thing to just be hoping and praying that they take care of everything, you know. And it's not like me personally where. Well, hold on. Let me let me phrase this right. It's not. My situation is different from a lot of people. You know, me and my mom live together, but we have a shared lease, you know. And when we did the shared lease last year, we did it on the agreement that, hey, you're helping me get into this apartment and I'll cover the rent. And she helped me get into mine and I cover my own rent. You get me? So now that I moved in with her, it's not like she's paying the full rent. No, I'm paying like half of it. <laughs> I'm paying half of the rent plus any utilities. You dig? So... Yeah, we're not on that. We're not doing that. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get it. I hope guys don't be average. Average is so stupid. They say perfect is the enemy of good. But I say average is the enemy of okay. And excellence is the enemy of average. You get me? Even if you fail, it's fine. As long as you got enough guns to try to shoot again. Or enough bullets, rather. Cause like I said, man, who wants to, uh, who, who wants to just, who wants to be in mediocrity? Who, who wants that? Not me.